Oh, Mardi Gras is not worth going to hell. Trust me on this. It ain't worth it. Oh, you think it's worth it. You think your sin is worth going to hell over. Because you believe the lie. You're believing the devil. You're believing with all unrighteous deception among them that perish, among them that die. You guys are, you guys are hugging each other to the grave. You guys are embracing each other down to the pit. The pit is being dug for the wicked, folks. What makes you think you're not going to go there? What makes you think that God is going to let you off without turning, without turning from your ungodly, satanic, perverted lifestyle? What you are doing displeases God. It displeases God who gave his son to die for you. Yes, it says God, who's rich in mercy because of his love with which he loved us. Amen. Yes. Yes, that he might make us to know what is the riches of his wisdom. And in that love, and in that forbearance, and in that incredible, in that incredible patience of God, right, he puts up with your sin. He puts up with your cussing, your wickedness, your evil, your homosexuality for a time. For a time, he gives you time and space to repent, right? God, who relents from doing harm, who delights in mercy, who delights in, not in condemning you. God desires that none would perish, but that all would come to repentance. God does not want you to die. God did not send us here to pronounce your death. Oh no, God came to tell you that even though you are headed to the grave, you're headed to the Grim Reaper. Appointment with death. I gotta talk to you first, sir. Because a lot of you, man, you're not there yet. You're really not there yet. You're not humble yet. You're not broken yet. Oh, my hope is that God will break you down that he might build you up. My hope is that God will give you a broken heart that you would see, you would see that Jesus died for your sins. You would see that he came back after three days. For what purpose? For what purpose, man? What, for you to just get drunk? For you to defile your liver? You to defile your mind? You to use women? Really? Is that what you think, man? Oh, think again. Think again, man. A wise man foresees evil and hides himself. You got to wise up, man. You got to get some wisdom in your life. Fear of God, which is the beginning of wisdom. See, the Bible says, it says that when you rebuke a wise man, he will love you. Oh, yes. Teach a just man, he will increase in learning. Amen. Oh, but it says, do not rebuke a wicked man. Whoever rebukes a wicked man only harms himself. Yes, whoever corrects a scoffer, it says, bring shame to himself. Which are you today? Are you a wise? Are you a wise person? Are you a wise man? Therefore, when you hear the rebuke, you hear the correction, you hear the truth that can set you free. Oh man, oh man, you recognize that's the love of God. There is a redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah. Holy One, Jesus, my Redeemer, name above all names, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh, for sinners slain. Thank you, oh, my Father, for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till the work on earth